Olivia from KindlingBands.com, and I'm here with Miss Mister. Can you introduce yourselves? I'm Max. I'm Lizzie. Come to be here. What is something that comes on sandwiches that you always pick off? <clears throat> that is a good question. Um, I don't like uh, bean sprouts. Bean sprouts in general. Alfalfa sprouts, that's something I never want on a sandwich. Filler, Just as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, I pick off uh, unripe tomatoes. Not that fun. Well, but, but it, still, won't do. it won't do. It won't do. <laughs> won't have it. Do you have a shirt in your closet that you will never wear again, but won't, won't throw away? That is a great question. Uh, I do have a shirt that fits that description. I worked uh, one summer at a record label called Vice, uh, and at the time I was an intern, and they had this band signed to them called The Black Lips. And I sneakily stole one of the t-shirts and uh, absolutely love it and lived in it for about a year. And now it is like disgusting. I think it's like the spray painted logo of the band on it. So I can't like really wash it. So it's just, it's revolting and gross. <laughs> but I have the memory of, of like interning there that summer and loving the shirt. And so I'll never get rid of it, but it just sits gross and dirty in my closet. But I love it. Do you I have, I, well, I have a, uh, when I was 15, I lived in Honduras, and we lived and worked on an orphanage, and volunteered there for a year. And every year at the orphanage, they had this big, like, orf it was a like, 600-kid orphanage, and they'd have this massive, uh, like, sports competition where all the different, like, groups of kids would pair up against each other, um, and people got really into it to the point where you had like choreographed dances for the opening <laughs> ceremonies and like which you I loved love that part <laughs> and we made like t-shirts for the the opening ceremonies that we like sprayed spray painted on and now that I look back on that outfit I was like oh my god <laughs> but I can't throw away the t-shirt I still have it in a box under my bed so spray painted tees and I will never wear them again I we'll probably wouldn't even remember that experience if I didn't have that t-shirt so well. it's great anyway would you rather read the book or see the movie read the book <laughs> Ideally both. Ideally both, but big movie buff. Yeah. What do you complain more about, weather or traffic? Weather. weather. <laughs> we live in New York City, so we don't spend a lot of time in traffic. And we complain about the weather regularly, the as, as cynical, difficult New Yorkers do. Plus, New York. I don't know if you've been to New York, but in the summers it's way too hot, and in the winters it's way too cold. So it's just not a very nice place to live. I don't know why people settled there in the first place. Except that it's amazing and we love every, every piece of it, and yet we continue to complain about the weather. It's been a very long, cold winter. If there is a Miss Mr. Superhero movie, what would each of your powers be? Speaking of Please. New York, yeah. <laughs> we, well, we've often had this conversation about um, what would be your sort of everyday New York superpowers, because there's a lot of sort of... New York We're cynical issues. New Yorkers, so there's lots of things that were, you know... Um, yeah, that bother us every day. One, one of the ones we discussed was um, if... The subway one. The, oh yeah, if, if the train could come whenever you arrived at the subway <laughs> platform, so you were never waiting for a train. Or if you were walking behind some slow tourists, they just disappeared. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> New so, York specific New York superpowers. New York specific superpowers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you usually wake up early or sleep in? Again, we divulge. Well, diverge. very, very different schedules. I go to sleep very late, and then sleep as late as humanly possible. And I go to bed early and get up really early. So, pretty much, my sister's got you covered. Twenty four <laughs> hours. Today, hours. Yeah. One of us is available at some point. <laughs> and finally, when you hear your own song on the radio, do you sing along? It hasn't. It's funny. We haven't experienced it that much. I think um, when it came on in Germany when we were driving in the car. We didn't sing along, but we were like screaming with happiness. Yeah. I think I think I would sing along to it though. I get, Maybe. I get our songs. I get every song that I ever listen to stuck in my head. So when I listen to it, or like even when we play one in the soundtrack, I am singing it for the rest of the evening, which is embarrassing. <laughs>